So recently I've been covering a lot of the early Limitless tours and I've been getting asked the question, do I know the EV spreads for these teams? And while I don't know the exact spreads, I did decide to go ahead and recreate 10 of the top teams across three different Limitless tours that all had over 100 players. And the first team we're going to look at here is Marco Fierro's first place team. This is the team he used to win the, uh, I believe it's the Hemi Burns Glizzy Tour, I think it's called. Uh, I apologize if that's incorrect. But basically this team here has got, you know, the pretty standard core that we've been talking about a bit about recently. That is the Urshi Rapid, Incin, and Rillaboom. Paired up with like Tornadus, Lando, and then Fluttermate. This is just a very, very solid, consistent team. You know, you've got a great Firewater Grass Core here. Paired up with Tornadus, and then just two mods that absolutely love the speed control. Um, also Urshi Crew here as well, you know. Loves a little bit of speed control, a little bit of rain coming off the Tornadus. Um, nothing crazy here. These stats are, you know, relatively standard in my opinion. You know, we've got a little bit of bulk into our, um, you know, uh, Urshi through here just to, you know, live basically anything where people are trying to just, like guaranteed get those, like, you know, making sure they just KO and no bulk. Um, Urshi, we go 144, so we outspeed, you know, max speed uh, Adamant Landorus here, um, just hitting the attack bar, but then, as I said, just pumping the rest into the defensive stats. Uh, Flood main, this is a booster energy special attack boosting set by the looks of it. Um, I've just gone for the very standard Flood main spread here. Nothing too crazy. You know, you've got the bulk here to live a jolly ice spinner off a Chien Pao. Um, and I think it's like a 50% chance to live the, the icicle crash. Um, if you intimidate them with your incin as well, you're guaranteed to live it. Uh, special attack just hits the bump. If you wanted, you could also go to like the 136 here and then kind of maybe dump the rest into HP just to give yourself a little extra bulk here. Uh, but personally, I like hitting that 170 bump there, going up to 187. Um, speed tier here at 181 might be a little bit too slow um going into the metagame but obviously we'll have to wait and see how things develop uh this is a terra stellar as well which i did think was pretty damn cool uh in terms of the incense set here this is just a relatively early standard set i'd say um you know we've got 200 hp here just to optimize the citrus berry uh we hit the attack bump on the adamant to make sure our blitz set our knockoffs are doing quite a bit of damage um in terms of the bulk here i believe the special defense allows you to live i think it's like a specs moonblast off a of flutter main um it could also be specs terra fairy moonblast i forget exactly off the top of my head um, then basically just a fizz death dump here with one point in speed. You could run a bit more speed if you're really scared about the incin mirrors. Uh, but personally, you know, I right now I'm more worried about just, you know, having my incin live what it needs rather than, you know, winning the speed ties in the mirror matchups. Uh, Ruler Boom, this is just the set I took to, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the Brisbane Regional recently. Um, just, you know, enough attack here basically to one-shot things like uh, Blood Moon Ursa Luna if they're, um, you know, if they don't Terra uh, and they're actually max HP as well. Um, the bulk here is just basically optimized for grassy terrain. Um, you could probably run a bit more HP and drop some Fizz Death, but I do like having a bit of physical bulk. Um, just allows you to tank things on the physical end. Uh, the Spadef just hits 100 to help out with the Assault Vest and 114 is the speed tier I personally like to hit. Uh, turns of the Landorus here. This is just hitting the bumps you need, right? This is two points faster than you know what you would, what I would assume a adamant Landorus would hit. Also one point faster than that one forty four, which is what a, a lot of people do tend to hit on their Urshifus. Um, we hit the special attack bump, which honestly you probably don't even need this much special attack, uh, but I do like having that little bit extra. Uh, and basically just dumping the rest into HP, making sure we hit you know a nice number for substitute, just to make sure it's you know nice and rounded. Uh, and then finally to Tornadus. Um, again, this is just my the set I ran at um, Brisbane myself. I like the very bulky set um he was rock running rocky helmet terra steel uh very similar to what i had so because of that i just went very very bulky here um speed could be you know a little bit faster maybe especially for things like whimsicott um but the way i see it when you're playing a mod like tornadoes is i expect the whimsicotts to be faster than me anyway um uh, because of that i'd prefer to just go for like bleak wind storm turn one rather than trying to you know trade tailwinds into them so uh, continuing on with that tour, though, we have Desu's second place team here. Uh, Desu, I believe, is a two-time runner-up at International, so a very, very high-level player. Um, and the sets here, look, I I'm going to run through these ones a bit quicker because they are basically the exam exact same sets I ran before for the most part. Um, I didn't want to get too complicated again because, like, at, at the point of recording this, we still don't actually know if, uh, if this is the actual regulation F format. We should hopefully find out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, anyway, here is, you know, my Urshi set, exact same set, one we looked at before, uh, same with Lander is here, you know, it's another subset here, um, so because of that, we're just hitting the exact same benchmarks I went for earlier, uh, same with the Rillaboom, it's the same set, not going to change it up too much, uh, then we have Registeel, a bit different, um, so this one has clear body, which means it can't be intimidated, um, so because of that, I've got 90 to attack, this essentially allows you to live the bulkiest of, um, sorry, this allows you to one-shot the bulkiest of Flutter Mains with Heavy Slam, which I did think was very, very important, um, we kind of just, like, dumped, you know, we went, like, max HP at that point, dumped the rest into a spit F, and then just gave ourselves a, you know, a defense boosting nature, uh, this is more or less just to get the most out of, you know, iron defense here, right, sure, we could have, you know, potentially gone for a boosting nature into here, and got quite a lot out of it, um, but I felt this was just the better way to run it, simply because, you know, again, also, uh, uh, no, don't worry. I'm an idiot. Because, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get the most out of the, you know, the Iron Defense Body Press stuff while also, you know, making sure my Heavy Slam still hits, you know, what it needs to because this attack stat is pretty low. Um, You probably could even run a bit of speed on this to, you know, outrun some Incins, which might even be a good thing uh, now that I think about it. Even if you drop this down a little bit and just ran this, ah, uh, nah, probably not worth it. Let's be honest. Incin 60, yeah. 
Uh, you, look, you could run a little bit of speed, but I don't know. I think this is the set I liked when I was uh, theory crafting it. Uh, Insin, same set we looked at before. Actually, uh, this is slightly different because we have Wikiberry. A um, little bit more HP. Uh, but yeah, honestly, that is that even optimal? Because it's one third, right? I don't think that's actually optimal. I'll have to double check that one. I, I'm sure there's a reason why I went 201 though. I'll be mean, basically the exact same set, you know, slightly faster, a little less Fizzbog, a little uh, more HP. Uh, but yeah, Terra Dragon as well in this set I thought was cool. I'll uh, be yeah, the Wiki Berry is also not too bad. Uh, and then finally, with you know, the new one, the Latios here. Um, this was a set, obviously, you know, it's running uh, Miss Ball and Ice Beam. Um, so when you have a look at my spread here, obviously, you know, we've gone up to the bump here on the Fizz Def, I think, and then actually ran up one higher. Max HP, because obviously that's, you know, as a bulking one, that's one of its biggest issues is its HP and its defensive stats. Um, and then kind of just like pumped into, you know, the, the Spur Def and the speed here. Uh, but the special attack was basically, I believe this allows you to two-shot um, the, you know, kind of Spur Def bulky um, Amoonguses after Citrus Berry recovery. Um, I think it was doing like minimum 60% off top of my head. Um, so because of that, that's why I ran up to 60 here just to make sure. Um, it also obviously helps out with, you know, Lando's calcs as well with the Ice Beam, which I do think is pretty important. Uh, then we have Iron Man's top four placing team here. This is a very cool team. This is like a, you know, the Urshi Power Knight kind of core. Uh, paired up with Entei as well, which I did think was pretty nice. Uh, and then a decent support in Amoongus and just, you know, a leftovers Golden Go with Plot, which I do think is pretty nice. Um, very standard set here though. Um, you're just going, I, I like Adamant over Jolly. I like the little bit of extra damage. Um, and that one point in defense actually does a lot for the Urshi from Mirror. Uh, sorry, matchups, which is kind of funny. Um, I believe this allows you to... Um, always live i think it's mystic water urshifu um if they have rain or terror though you just die to it uh but yeah that was that's that's really cool something to always keep in mind when you're doing your power calyx is to uh, always have that four points in defense there um d9 this is just very very standard i like to run mine a little bit faster a lot of people run around that 107 108 range um especially if they're pairing it with tailwind uh because of that i like to go to about 110 max out my attack and then just dump the rest into defensive stats uh Entei was an interesting one i haven't personally tested this one uh yet myself um but i did think that 133 speed see was probably roughly where you want to hit on this thing um you could definitely run it faster but because we're a salt vest i want it to be a bit bulkier um and to obviously pairing this thing up with champ power is very very nice right you've got sacred fire which is a fantastic stab move um e speed obviously you know with power is very very good in the late game and then crunch and stopping tantrum they're just good coverage moves right uh basically hit a bump you know hit the speeds here i wanted to hit and then kind of just dump the rest into defensive stats um aiming more for defense over special defense just because we've got the assault vest to buff up the speed def a little bit um and there's no intimidate on this team either which is something you definitely need to keep in mind uh, Amoongus, this is just the very standard Citrus Berry set. Um, you know, hit the bump here, you know, optimize the HP for Citrus Berry recovery, um, and then just put the rest in Spadef and dropped a couple points in speed just so we could underspeed Ursulins in Trick Room. Um, Urshi set, this is the Choice Scarf set. Um, again, basically very similar to what we did before, but because with Choice Scarf, I've just gone Adamant Max Attack. Um, game plan with this one is basically just to obviously deal as much damage as possible. Hitting that same speed tier, of course, where, you know, because we're Jolly, um, sorry, because we're Adamant, even if we were Max Speed, we wouldn't outspeed Jolly Landorus because they'll normally go for that 150 range uh, so because of that i've just gone 144 uh, and then finally golden go um this is my preferred way to play golden go it's just the you know because obviously it's leftovers right oh, sorry nasty pot leftovers um basically just hitting you know hitting the bump on the special attack getting as much hp as possible um i hit that 126 speed tier you could honestly run this a bit faster if you wanted um but i like hitting that mid 120s just because i feel like there are not that many bonds that really want to go over like say 123 um and if anyone does you know specifically calc for that or you know speed grip that 123 tier um you should hopefully outspeed them uh, but yeah, this one's nothing fancy, just, you know, it, it, it's pretty fast, decently bulky, and making sure we get as much special attack as possible. Now, moving over to another tour here, we do have Daniel Acorn's first place team. Um, again, this is, you know, relatively simple sets. Um, this one, I went a bit faster. Um, this was the, the set, basically, I used for my Insin, uh, personally, when I was testing it out a bit. Um, this is also a helping hand set as well. Uh, and I did opt to go a little bit quicker. That's really the main difference here. We're a bit faster, um, and we don't have as much, you know, physical defense here. Um, but obviously this set here has helping hand and fake out no parting shot so this one kind of wants to stay on the board uh, which is also another big reason too why i did kind of opt for um, a little bit more speed because i want to outspeed the other incineroars if i'm not going to be parting shotting out you know because when you're playing against other incins you kind of want to be slower to parting shot you know after they parting shot um but because of that you know i'm like hey i'm just going to be a bit faster use that helping hand and hopefully nuke the incins before you know they are uh, they can even get out of there um, but yeah, Mystic Water Urshi, um, don't have a nature on this should probably smack an adamant one on that um same set we looked at before nothing too crazy 
Raging Bolt, this is our first time looking at it. Um, this is a Calm Mind set with leftovers. Uh, because of that, you know, we did optimize our HP for leftovers recovery. Uh, and then we just, you know, hit that third bump. Um, originally, I was thinking of only going to the second bump. Uh, but obviously, I do think this one kind of wants to just exist and then just deal massive damage. Um, we put a little bit of speed in just to speed creep other ones because obviously you want to fire off the Dracos. Um, and then just pumped into the physical defense because I do think Fizz Def is a little bit better right now than special defense. Uh, Fluttermane, this is a choice spec set, um, very similar to what we looked at earlier with the special uh, attack boosting set, um, just hitting our bumps, hitting, you know, the minimum bulk, I, I don't think you ever want any less bulk in this on your Fluttermane, um, living with that 181, again, if you want to go faster, you can uh, potentially drop this down to like 36, especially because it's a spec set, you could honestly go down to like 136, maybe bump that up there, pump into HP, that is also probably actually a really fine set as well, um, this is also Terra Stella, um, the only thing is, I would say, don't run Terra Stella on specs because you lose the Terra buff um, after you use your attack the first time. Uh, because of that, I do think probably just going for you know Terra Fairy is better, and then just having a coverage move here. Uh, but that's just me, obviously. Uh, Rillaboom, same set we looked at before, um, nothing too crazy. Uh, and then Landorus here, Choice Scarf set. Um, again, when I run my Landorus, I like to hit that 150 with Jolly, uh, just because a lot of the Urshifus tend to go adamant because Jolly Urshi doesn't do enough damage. Uh, and then if you're running something like this, you can just go for your Terra Flying Terra Blasts um, and really just deal a lot of damage to them. Uh, now, I'm going to absolutely butcher this one, but we have G, G Holes 32's top four team from that same event. Uh, this is a really, really cool team here as well. You know, it's a bit... Um, it's a bit more balancey, I guess, than some of the other ones. Um, obviously, here we're running King Gambit. Uh, this is the Terra Fairy Assault Vest set. Um, basically, for me, you know, just get as much HP as possible, hit that attack bump, you know, kind of put the rest in sp into Spadef, because this one's already so bulky on the physical end, especially when you pair it up with things like Intimidate from the Incineroar, right? Um, so we just a little bit of speed here. Um, I went two points just to, you know, catch the other in uh, the other King Gambit that are doing one, uh, and then kind of just pumping into Spadef to buff up that, you know, Assault Vest a little bit. Um, then we have the Terra Water Ogre Pawn. Don't, don't uh, I guess, don't get <laughs> mistaken by this here. Um, it's just the way Limitless copies, um, you know, the, the pace so far, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is just the, the support set, right? Cudgel, Horn Leech, Bucky Shield, Follow Me. Um, basically, just as much HP as possible. I like having my HP as an even number. If you ever wonder why I've got 244 over like 252, um, I like having 186 over 187. We hit the attack bump, you know, we get a little bit of speed here and then basically just kind of even out the defense and the uh, the special defense there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Flood of Man, we spoke about this set before. Um, this one did have Icy Wind though, which I do really like, especially for things like Landorus floating around now. Um, obviously, Insin here, Citrus Berry set. We spoke about this one before. A um, little bit of speed, you know, just optimizing our HP. That's really about it. Uh, same with this guy here. Obviously, another uh, another substitute set. They're all running sub, apparently, uh, which obviously helps out a lot with the Amoongus stuff. Um, but yeah, just exact same set we saw earlier. And then same with Ladi, exact same set. Um, this, I, I'll, I'll guess I'll quickly touch on it here. Ladi is really cool on these teams um, because it's like a... It's more of like a balance, right, than it is like a hyper-offensive team. Obviously, there's a lot of offense on this team, right, with like Gambit, Ogre Pawn, Bottomane, and Lando, even though like they're kind of bulkier sets, um, they do quite put out quite a bit of offense. So having like Lardy as your tail setter, I do think is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, same set as we looked at before. Now, we do have our first Trick Room team here, and this is Mr. Burns' top four team from that same event. Uh, this team is obviously built around, you know, Blood Moon Ursula, sorry, Normal Ursula Luna and uh, Primarina, which I do think is very, very cool. Um, quickly touch on this one here, though. Uh, he did actually have Icy Wind on this Fluttermane because of that I went for a Speed Booster set. Um, this is the same set I believe I ran. Actually, no, this isn't the same set I ran at Brisbane. Uh, I have adapted it just to be one point faster than Max Speed Iron Boulder, which I do think could be a problem for Fluttermane going forward. Uh, but Terra Stella 2, I do think is very, very interesting because this actually probably gives you enough damage with Icy Wind to pick up things like uh, Lenderous, which you don't normally do in the past. I knew at Brisbane... I needed my Chiyu on the board to bunch out Landorus's, uh, and because of that, you know, the, uh, the Terra Stella actually might be very, very important uh, on the Icy Wind sets here. Um, then we have a Choice Spec Primarina. Um, I was torn on whether or not I should actually, you know, build this thing for Trick Room or not and go quiet. Um, I ended up opting not to just because we do have the Icy Wind coming out of Fluttermane, um, and there can definitely be situations where the Primarina, you know, if you're not running a you know, a Tailwind team yourself, our Primarina can like, kind of catch you off guard with like Icy Wind into, you know, like some strong attacks. Um, and if not, you know, it's still, you know, relatively slow where unless you're playing against opposing Trick Room, you're probably still going to underspeed everything you need to underspeed anyway. Um, this is a Shookerberry set on Insin because of that I just went the standard one, max HP, hitting the bump, pumping into the defenses. Um, and also because we are Trick Room as well, I did want to be slower because you just want to be able to get off those slower parting shots. Uh, but in saying that, there is definitely an idea behind potentially being faster in Trick Room. Just because, again, if you get up the trick room yourself, you don't want to parting shot into your sweeper and then have their instant parting shot uh, your sweeper, right? So that is definitely something to keep in mind there. Very, very standard set here on uh, the Ursa Luna as well. Uh, nothing too crazy. A little bit of spadef, obviously, you know, maxing out the attack and getting a bit of uh, 
bit of HP in there, which I do think is pretty damn important. Um, standard, uh, standard Omega spread, we looked at it before. Um, that speed there, obviously, it helps you on to speed things like, um, you know, Iron Hands, the Ursa Lunas. Like, you look at this, your Ursa Luna here hits 49. My Amoongus hits 48. Why? It's just to spore opposing ones if I need to. Um, obviously, you know, they're going to have things like Flame Orb, but yeah, it's, it's good to just keep that in mind, right, when you're playing it. Finally, Cress, um, very similar to what I was saying about Pre Marina. Didn't run negative speed on this one just because I wasn't too sure, um, you know. Like, I, I don't think you, uh, may, maybe Chris, so you could argue this thing does actually need to be a bit slower. Um, but obviously there are situations where out of trick room, I think you do want to be able to fire off a decently fast, you know, attack. Um, in terms of the spreads, I was very torn on this. I, I did consider putting a bit of, um, you know, investment into the special attack stat, but I couldn't really find any calcs that were really meaningful to me. I wasn't like, oh yeah, like I'm just going to always pick up Landruses or like, oh yeah, I'm going to two shot Amoonguses. Um, you know, you could definitely run a bit more, but I just don't think right now it's worth it. Um, but who knows, maybe in the future I'll be proven wrong. Then we have the Shiesty Sorcerers top 8 team here. This was a cool team because they've got the uh, the support Roaring Mid, which is uh, obviously one of my favorite mods. Uh, and of course, you saw there, the Elect of Us, right? Um, in terms of the Roaring Moon here, it's just hitting, you know, a number that I think is pretty good for the special, uh, the speed boost here. Um, you know, not really going much attack because obviously our game plan there is to like knock things off and break and swipe them uh, and kind of just exist. Uh, and then a lot of HP and physical defense. And then you pair that up with Insane because obviously, you know, uh, yeah, our good Fred Mori Moon here does not like our physical attacks. Uh, so yeah, pairing them up together, um, again, very standard uh, instant set here. I've already spoken about it, I'm not going to touch on it. Uh, same with the Flutter Main. I feel like, as I said, we're getting to that point where a lot of these sets will be the same. Uh, as I said before, though, one of the main things, you could go like 36, go into you know that HP range if you wanted. Uh, but again, that's entirely up to you and you know whether or not you actually like to be a bit um, a little bit bulkier, hit a little bit harder. Um, Razor Core, Ogre Born, though, I ended up just opting for Max Max. Very similar to what I was saying before, I couldn't really find any calcs I wanted to hit defensively. Um, and really, you know, you kind of want to get up an SD. You also want to kind of use your speed booster there. Um, you could potentially opt for Adamant. Um, I was looking at Adamant, but I'm just worried with, you know, some of the new threats coming into the game that Adamant might be a little bit too slow at 162 um, because of that I opted for Jolly. Um, but again, that comes down to how you want to play. If you are going to go Adamant, you could definitely drop this down to like maybe 160 and then invest into bulk. Um, but for now, I'm just going Jolly. Game plan with this one, obviously, is, you know, you get up the SD, you know, you've got the Razor Core, just start critting things with Ivy Cudgel, right? Then we have uh, Urshifu Choice Scarf. I spoke about this set earlier. Um, very, very simple. I ended up opting for a little bit more special defense on this set. Uh, but as I said before, if you want, you could, you know, potentially go stuff like this, right? It really just comes down to how you want to play it. Uh, but yeah, obviously, I like my Urshifu to just hit really damn hard. Uh, and then finally, Electabuzz. This was an interesting one that I was actually, uh, for when I was doing some calcs with it, right? Um, obviously, you know, you see here I've got the, the special attack investment. That is really just to help you out, you know, with dealing a lot of damage to certain things, right? Um, I think this gives you a roll on Tornadus. I don't think, like, from off memory, there's you're never going to have a good roll on a bulky Tornadus or even, like, a non-bulky Tornadus. Um, and because of that, I opted for a little bit of special attack, so you're not, you know, useless just quickly can follow me. Um, but this mod obviously offers, you know, pretty good speed control on Electro Web and T-Bolt 2. Um, and, you know, with this much, you know, investment here, with the Aviolite 2, you know, your defensive stat becomes pretty high. Um, same with your Spit F stat, and it's really just about making sure that HP is as high as possible. Um, we have another really cool team here. This is Brandon Davis's top 18. Um, this is a Psy Spam team that has, you know, that isn't a Trick Room mode really, right? Obviously, you see Trick Room on the Aditi here, but you see not a single Mon that wants to play under Trick Room, which I did think was very, very cool, right? So you got the Rocky Helmet and Aditi, my personal favorite way to play it. Um, and then you got like the Follow Me plus Helping Hand. Obviously, Helping Hand is insane if you've got the faster Mon on the board, uh, which again, so when you got things like, you know, a Specs Fluttermane, a Adamant Chien Pao, um, a Spood Boosting Blaziken, uh, even, you know, Iron Crown to a certain extent, uh, that is very, very good. Um, now look, uh, the set here, very standard. We're just, that is not meant to be there. I'm gonna just, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> that was funny. Um, yeah, max attack, uh, bold nature, boys. But no, uh, yeah, indeedy here, very, very simple, right? It's just follow me, redirection. Occasionally, you'll click a dazzling gleam. Um, trick room is more or less to reverse trick room, uh, is the way I kind of look at it, right? Um, Iron Crown here, this is, I ended up going for a special attack boosting set. This could definitely have been a speed boosting set. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I personally don't like the speed boosting set because if you have a look here, you're still not like, you know, hitting hard enough so you'd have to drop it to that and to me that just feels kind of weak uh because that feels kind of weak i just go modest you go max speed here to again outspeed those uh, she proves that aren't choice scarf or um join nature um and this one's already pretty decently bulky that i think you can kind of just focus on getting off some big expanding forces with the special attack boosting set here 
Uh, Blaze Icon though, this mod, um, obviously you kind of want to opt to build this a bit bulkier. This mod already hits pretty damn hard, um, and it speeds here while it's pretty average. Obviously, if you can sit on the board for two turns, all of a sudden, you know, if you're plus two speed, uh, that 112 becomes very, very fast. Um, also, at 112, if you go plus one, you do outspeed um, all base 100s, um, and then obviously you're going to need that next one to obviously outspeed the Flutter mains. Uh, but unfortunately, I think you need like plus four to outspeed Iron Bundle, which is one of the sad things. Uh, but yeah, basically, we, you know, we ended up hitting the bump, and then I got to a point where... Um, it was either I have an odd number in one of my defensive stats or I have a even number across the board. Um, and again, o o OCD really just said, hey, let's just go even here because the bump here is 165, but I just went 166. Uh, this is really cool though. Obviously SD, Temple Flare, CC. Um, I like Temple Flare too because if you ever get like faked out after a trick room, then you all this, sorry, after a, a protect, you have this like really insanely, you know, powerful move here, which I did think was really cool. Um, and I think pairing it up with Indeedy is also really, really nice, of course, right? You know, you can go that follow me, get up the speed boost, and then eventually, you know, you get it in next to like your Chien Power or, you know, your Flutter Main, and it does a lot of damage, right? Um, Ogre Support went through this before, very, very similar set. Um, I did opt to go a little bit slower on this set just to show you guys like, a, you know, slightly different spreads. Um, if you want, just, you know, pump that little bit extra into defense stat here and run it a little bit slower too, which I do think potentially is good if you're going up against, you know, a team where you feel like Trick Room is definitely the way to go. Um, because obviously if you're playing against, you know, some like hyper offensive Tailwind, um, then setting Trick Room for things like Iron Crown and Ogre Born actually isn't the end of the world, right? Uh, Flutter Main though, talked about it before. Again, if you want, make it, uh, you know, bulkier, um, drop the attack. But yeah, I wouldn't really go anything too crazy. Uh, and same with Power, exact same as what we said earlier, right? Put those four points here. I run Adamant. Um, if you want to run Jolly, go for it. Uh, but yeah, that is entirely up to you. Um, and obviously too, because you're pairing with your own terrain, go crash. Um, and I do actually like the option of lash out here as well, which I do think is uh, you know, pretty damn cool, right? Especially into you know things like intimidate. Um, not even gonna try to pronounce this guy's name here. Yeah, it, look, it's a top eight team that featured you know a very very uh interesting you know take on balance, right? So you've got Suicune here. Um, I ended up opting for a lot of special attack on this guy, um, just because I feel like it's already so bulky that you know you don't really need that much investment and i want my scolds and like ice beams to actually deal a little bit of damage um so yeah ended up opting to go pretty fast on this one as well hitting 118 because again i feel like a lot of mods want to hit that you know that 112 to 116 speed tier um and i kind of want to make sure this thing's in a position where you know it can get up its tailwind and then if it does um obviously you can actually fire off some attacks with it right um you know hp though um i don't actually think that's optimized for, i just realized that's not optimized for citrus i think citrus is 204 off memory right because yeah that'd be 51 yeah, so maybe something like that is like fine. Then maybe just put them there. Um, I think that's maybe a little bit better, right? But yeah, pretty standard here. Um, it wants to fire off a lot of attacks and get up Tailwind. So because of that, I wanted to make sure it actually deals some damage. Um, this is a Rocky Helmet Amunga set. Um, yeah, pretty standard, honestly. Um, I believe there's a reason we went 119. I feel like that should be 118, though. Ah, oh, dude, uh, th this is this is the issue with doing my calcs when I'm tired. I feel like that should be 118. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I feel like that should be 118. But yeah, very standard set here. This is the um, you know, the clear smog set as well, which I personally do like. I think it's good for you know stopping setup. Um, I also really do like Rocky Helmet redirection as well. Um, superior here. This is another you know set where I've, I've hit that speed tier where I'm kind of speed creeping the things that I think are going to speed creep 144. Um, hitting a bump on the special attack and then just pumping into defense. Um, this one's really cool with wide lens plus contrary, right? Because you've got leap storm and then like Terra Stellar Terra Blast. Um, I guess for those who don't know how this works, if you hit a Terrid Mon with Terra Blast, um, normally, you know, it, it buffs up the power, but it also um, lowers your attack stats. Where obviously on Superior, it's going to buff up your attack stats, uh, which is also very, very cool. I um, mean, 182 also hits our, you know, our substitute range here, which I did think was important to add. Um, then we have the Life Orb Heatran here. Um, just hitting the optimal HP here. Uh, basically, if you go to 170, Life Orb will do one point more damage. Um, and then we just hit the modest bump going max speed. Nothing too crazy here. I feel like this mod's job is to really deal damage um, on this team. So, yeah. Uh, Brian Hands. This is just a classic Assault Burst set, really. A um, little bit of speed for the mirrors here. Hitting the attack bump. You know, hitting the, a nice HP here. Um, I like personally like hitting 110s per death. If you want, you can go higher. I don't think you need it. That's just what I like to go for. And then a little bit of defense, I think, does go a long way on this mod. Uh, and then finally, Lander set we touched on before. This is just the 150 Jolly set near max attack, hitting the speed. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice. And then the final team here is Pichu's top eight team. This is another Trick Room team, but this is our first Porygon 2 team, which is actually kind of interesting because I did really want to showcase one of these. Um, the Insin set here, again, this is a slower Insin. 
um, similar set to what we showed off before. Uh, Flutamine, I did opt to go a bulky one just to kind of show you guys. That was my initial thought. I was like, I'll put this one in, in here to show you guys. It's also the last team, so I know not everyone's going to make it to the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, obviously here is just, you know, it's a Fairy Feather set. Um, your job here is to kind of bu bu boost up these two. Uh, personally, though, on a Fairy Feather set, I would definitely run a bit more attack because you are missing the damage, obviously. Um, that's not the one I want to buff. That's the one I want to buff. Uh, yeah, I personally would run probably this, but I, I did have that there just to kind of show you guys um, the bulkier version of it. Um, P2 here, now you could definitely run some Spadef on P2, uh, but I wanted my P2 to be very slow, um, and I also wanted my P2 to uh, hit pretty damn hard, because I do think that's one of the underrated things about Porygon 2 is like, you know, 154 is actually not bad, and then if you ever get the, you know, the download boost into your special attack, all of a sudden this mon hits like a truck, right? It hits harder than, you know, common Flutter mains. Um, and with things like, you know, like Terror, Ghost, um, Shadow Ball as well, that hits really hard. Um, Ice Beams will like almost always pick up all land resources you need to KO as well. Um, and then this one's also just really bulky, right? So you just want to max out the HP. A Violet like buffs these stats like crazy. Um, and yeah, very, very good, right? Uh, safety goggles set here. Um, this is just a slow version of Raging Bolt. Uh, simply you just go on slow because obviously we're pairing this thing up with Trick Room, right? So this team doesn't really have any speed control outside of Trick Room. And because of that, I just wanted to, you know, hit that bump and then just bulk this out and be pretty damn slow. Um, but still be fast enough so if I'm in a position like outside of Trick Room, if I need to hit an instant, I can, right? Um, a Raquinid, um, this one's very, very simple. This mod has Water Bubble, Mystic Water, Terra Water. You want your liquidations to be, you know, hitting as hard as possible. This mod also has a really bad attack stat, so just buff that out. Your Spadef's already so insane that it's like you don't really need to invest there. Um, just so at that point, max out the HP, put the rest into defense. You know, again, I like my even numbers. Uh, and then you go with Brave Nature because you just want to be as slow as possible. And then finally, the last one on the list today is Okie Doki. Um, you honestly could look to run this thing like maybe around that 110 speed tier. But again, to me, this team really wants to, you know, get up Trick Room and kind of play around that. And because of that, we just max out the HP. Um, your defense is already pretty high. Get the HP as high as possible. You've got Assault Vest buffing up the Spadef here. Um, and then just a little bit of speed to, you know, speed creep anything in that same, you know, that same tier. But yeah, nothing too crazy. This was a really cool team. Uh, but yeah, look guys, I'll definitely make sure I add all these, you know, in the description down below. I guess let me know if there was, you know, any of these are your favorite teams. Let me know if there's a team you think I missed and you want me to cover in the near future. Because it's definitely something I'll look to, um, you know, get out to you guys again. Hopefully, in, you know, a week or two once we, you know, have some more tournaments. Um, and we actually know what the meta game is, which I do think is going to be very important. Um, I have a funny feeling nothing will change. But again, obviously, you never know. Certain ones might get banned. They might just say, hey, home ones are gone, which, you know, fingers crossed. I'd love to see the genies and, you know, even like the genies and Rilla. As much as I love Rilla, Rilla plus instant, I don't love. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.